is your first alert five weather with Alan Rose. And we saw another beautiful day out there across southern Colorado right now in the springs checking in at 47 degrees calm wind. So quite a big difference from what we saw last night when that wind picked up in the evening. Today the wind was blowing pretty hard during the afternoon hours in Pueblo. We have 41 outside humidity at 41%. Earlier today, topping out just shy of the 60 degree mark in the springs, still well above average for this time of the year. Pueblo warming all the way to 65, not really close to records today as they were a bit higher than what we saw yesterday. And as we look ahead to your Wednesday forecast, we're going to continue to shave off a few degrees to those daytime highs. In the morning hours, cloudy with areas of drizzle, maybe a few snow flurries flying around the Pikes Peak region. Noontime temps right around 50 degrees in both cities. And then for the afternoon, we'll see highs in the middle to upper 50s around the Springs and Pueblo. So good looking day out there on Wednesday, all in advance of our next wet weather maker and most of us will see snow. This right now is bringing rain and snow to parts of the Golden State. It's an atmospheric river event and think about that as a conveyor belt of moisture moving in from the subtropics. Now the system will weaken considerably by the time it reaches us here in the Centennial State, but still here's a look at that forecast. You will see some rain and snow early Thursday, which could impact your morning drive to work, especially if you're going up over Monument Hill, the Palmer Divide could see a few inches of snow there. Snow levels are going to hover around five to six thousand feet. In addition to the snow, it's also going to be cold and windy with this system. You can see as we head past midnight, snow begins to move off the mountains and closer towards Teller County, the Springs and the I-25 corridor. And I think by around 6 a.m., most of us will be seeing either some snow or some liquid precip. And below that 6,000 foot mark, it could be mostly a rain event. So for the plains, out east on Highway 50, even Pueblo, this is mostly going to be a rant for you. But up north into the Springs and down towards the Raton Mesa, west towards Fremont County and Teller County, most of it will fall with snow. You can see by the dinner hour, most of the snow has exited the area. Here's a look at the pinpoint snowfall prediction. Denver is going to be less than an inch with this system. One to two around Castle Rock and Monument Hill. The Springs a trace to an inch. Woodland Park probably the winner here with around one to three. Over my lows tonight, down to the upper 20s in the springs. We'll see mid 20s, Pueblo, La Junta, Monument tonight, the Tri Lakes down to the lower 20s. Temperatures tomorrow are continuing to cool as we uh, see the cloud cover early in the day and maybe a few breaks in the clouds mid afternoon. But the system does arrive after midnight Wednesday, so dry tomorrow. Thursday, we get some snow in the springs, also gusty winds, uh, minimal impacts overall with not a lot of snow, but that morning drive to work could be at slick and messy, so just a heads up there. Pueblo will go from 57 down to the mid 40s, back up to 63 on Saturday. A nice rise in temps. Another opportunity for a rain snow mix here comes in as we head towards early next week. Canyon City, we've got snow and some rain mixed in your forecast on Thursday. Dry skies Friday, still chilly to end the week, but a nice boost in temperature Saturday before a colder air mass arrives with that next opportunity for rain and snow early next week. Woodland Park, we see dry weather Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, snow in the forecast and gusty winds on Thursday, and then another chance of snow heading into Monday and Tuesday. 